Hola. Hola. Hola, Javier. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. All right. This conversation must be in English, ragazzi. Yes, we know. So difficult. Okay. Don't forget. <laughs> All right. Uh, good afternoon for everybody. Uh, today, well, first of all, thank you, Marco, Stefano, uh, Max, oh, Massimo. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we have today the, the pleasure uh, to be with uh, Bob Oburo. Uh, this presentation is very important for me. Uh, not just because I know them very well, but uh, also because to me it, it's very it's very important for the students that is going to listen to you, is going to see your presentation, uh, uh, to know that. Uh, you are um, from the house. You are from UAP University. You are still working uh, uh, in the house. Uh, you've been uh, uh, studying there, and it is important for them to see how can uh, be the first steps after the school, being a professional, young professionals architect. Uh, this is the first uh, topic to me more important in your curriculum. You have been also nominated for the uh, Mies van der Rohe uh, Award for Europe. Uh, and also um, for the intervention of, of heritage, architectonic heritage in Barcelona. You are participating in many presentations uh, around Europe for many for for the Biennale di Venezia and and well there are many other things researching in the UAP uh, University. And then are a, another concepts, very, very interesting, but I would like to talk about this uh, after your presentation in your, uh, about your concepts of working and, and other details. So welcome and the microphone and the screen is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Javier. It's a pleasure to stay with you. Uh, also, if in this way, that is the way that we have to, to share idea and to, to follow with our friendship. So, uh, hello to everybody. I will share my our presentation. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, we are a little office that work uh, basically here in, in Venice and uh, we start, we want to start with this image that is a, a work of art, so famous work of art. Um, it's the, this is the date of uh, Donatello, uh, that is in a sculpture in bronze, a bronze sculpture, one-to-one. -one. And we want to, a, it, it's a, a sculpture of the, the, the mid of the 15th century, <laughs> I think you, you, you could know. But uh, we want to start with this because we, our presentation, uh, the, the way that we work uh, is uh, particular um, because we start always, as the title of our presentation say, uh, we, we try always to start from the existing. Normally, we are used to think our work, the work of an architect, as a work of art, as something that, uh, that had to, to to obscure, I don't know how, how to say better, something that is uh, around it. But really, the interesting thing about uh, many pieces of, so many famous pieces of art is that they are on, on a support that could be like this, uh, this pedestal. And uh, this, pedestal, this pedestal, the white one that you are seeing under the, the David, is not so famous, but for sure alone is truly a work of art, a work of art too, as, as, uh, as the David. And we always try to, 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 to think our work as something that had to be on uh, a pedestal, but really, <laughs> Uh, also, we, we, we thought that uh, on this pedestal, truly, we want to go up. Uh, as an architect, as an artist, this, is, this artist is uh, Piero Manzoni, that uh, produced uh, in the 1961 the, this pedestal, that is a, a pedestal that uh, it's called uh, Magic Base because uh, everyone who could uh, go, go up, could climb it and become a work of art. Uh, this, uh, this piece is called also, the, the magic base is called also living sculpture. Every one of us could go up on the, on the pedestal and become a work of art. So the, this is the, the, the the piece of uh, Piero Manzoni, and uh, we 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 like to think architecture like this pedestal more than the sculpture that we can uh, put over the pedestal. <coughs> In this way, uh, we are trying to 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 explain you some of our works that, in the major part, are characterized by by. Um, by work on the existing in the old town of Venice, like this on the left, you can see the, the, the building the situation, and on the right, the, uh, the work finished. And also that one is another work, and we always, when we, we try to, 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 to give to the existing, uh, not only the the the, the um, characterization of the pedestal, but also to give it to the existing a new quality that comes from the 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 its con its starting conditions. Uh, so, for example, in this house, in this apartment, all the roof was closed. And we open it. And <coughs> what we did is just to to give to the existing a, a, a new a new presence, a new a new quality. 
Uh, this one is the first uh, project that uh, we showed to you and is also the first project uh, uh, that we built somehow and uh, we work uh, on it uh, uh, quite 10 years ago, more or less, and uh, is in Belluno, my, my own uh, city, and is uh, a little work, work of uh, is an extension of a private house and also a refurbishment of uh, of the old uh, the old one. Uh, this is uh, the place in which uh, the house is located. It is near the city center of uh, of Belluno, but also near the, the Dolomites. And the landscape in 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 this project is uh, really important as a. Uh, one of the contexts that we try to read and put inside the project. The other uh, context that we normally try to consider are also the cultural one, the social one, the economic one, and, and so on. The project aims to uh, refurbish uh, this house, the great part of a complex of uh, different... Yes. Thanks. Uh, is this house that is made by a, a residential part that is the taller one and the part in which we have uh, some uh, farmer space in which uh, there were the cows, in which we have uh, some machine of work, uh, uh, all the, the field that have to stay there and, and after going to the, to the different animals. So this is a, a, a complex in which in the white part lives other families and in this part uh, now, in the moment of the, the, the project was uh, abandoned or quite abandoned, but uh, is the house in which my mother burn and uh, is uh, uh, this is the house of my grandparents. So for me, as a lot of uh, also family and uh, children uh, memories. Going uh, through uh, this um, northern site in which we recognize the house, the, the street and the access area. Going to the south, we uh, read also the topography of the place in which we recognize this difference of level behind the north side to the south side in which we have uh, this uh, aya is called uh, in, uh, in italiano is a little courtyard in which all the farmer activities take uh, place and uh, from which we have the the um, the previous entrance of the residential uh, part of the house uh, so uh, we recognize the residential part and the, the other uh, facilities that is this one of uh, the farmer place. Those are some images of uh, the, the state in which we find uh, the, um, the different buildings. And this is the view from a little terrace uh, to the uh, south side of, uh, of the place. This is the courtyard another time, and uh, here are the first drawings in which we uh, redraw the the state of the place. So we recognize all the building here, another farmer building here in this place. This is the corner of the house of my grandparents, and uh, this is the uh, the place in which we are to to work. And uh, we started. Uh, uh, trying to not uh, change so much uh, the state of the place. So we maintain the same entrance. We want to maintain uh, the, the courtyard uh, for, uh, facing on south and uh, try to don't uh, move and modify too much the volumes uh, that are playing in this, uh, in this place. The only uh, things that we can notice is that we enlarge the, the perimeter of the house in the northern part, but uh, the, the other alignment, this one from the uh, street and the other one from the, from the courtyard are the same. The, um, the project aims to, to bring inside the building two different uh, apartment, apartments, two flats, one in the ground floor, that is this one, trying also to maintain uh, as much as possible the, the structure of the whole house. Uh, otherwise, this, uh, this part, uh, the, 
the farmer facility was uh, all uh, uh, demolished and after rebuilt. And at the, in the ground floor, we have the first uh, building. So you enter from here, you have the, the living area, a little kitchen here with uh, a storage. storage and the night part uh, of the house in which we have the two bathrooms and the two bedrooms in uh, taking place in the old uh, uh, building uh, house. Uh, from here, uh, we are outside and we take a stair that is going up to the other uh, flat in which uh, is developed the other apartment. Also, in this case, we recognize the, the same structure of the night uh, area of the building, but uh, in, in, the, in, the, um, uh, in the place of, for the daily activity, we have uh, this uh, main place that uh, is uh, crossing uh, with the other direction, uh, uh, respecting the other one. The, the little kitchen here and uh, two terraces. One with uh, covert uh, in order to allow uh, to to um, defend from the from the sun, and another one that is uncovered in the north uh, part. Uh, the main concept of this uh, project is trying to uh, capture the landscape and all the different landscape uh, that we have uh, near the house and also uh, far from the house, try to, to take them and bring them inside the house. Uh, more or less uh, like this image of Cemamadoth and also uh, like some images that uh, uh, we can see when we are going, for example, in the mountain near, near the house, uh, in which we have these uh, these caves, and uh, from there they appear like windows to the to the landscape. And also uh, with this idea uh, that uh, when you are going to the mountain, maybe you can find some domestic uh, elements that uh, are somehow uh, creating a, a mediation between your body, your mind. So you like a. a, a a, a human being and the landscape. These elements are the, the connecting uh, part between your body and, uh, and the place. So we try to do that also in the house. It is my uh, grandfather uh, that uh, normally stay here uh, to work. And uh, this is the, the, a photo uh, taken from inside the, the the living room of the the, uh, the ground floor uh, flat. Uh, another thing that for us it was very important is this one, trying to have a huge place here in the place of the courtyard, uh, working with this alignment that uh, we already uh, show you, and uh, uh, the idea of uh, uh, looking at the landscape and also at the the other elements of the landscape, landscape that are also close to the house. This is a little church, also in activity. Normally, they do in this uh, in this church uh, a ceremony uh, that is like uh, uh, la benedizione dei campi, is called in Italiano. Is uh, the field uh, benedizione? They 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 give like the. Uh, benediction. Uh, benediction to 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 all the the fields that uh, uh, after you have to 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 cultivate, uh, and also uh, working in in section, we wanted to to uh, bring inside the house uh, the the elements of the of the context. Uh, so, for example, in this place, we see the first flat and the part uh, in which we have the storage and the kitchen but if we go some meters forward we see that uh, the main place uh, of the first uh, the, the ground floor uh, that has uh, the, the living room uh, work with the two different levels of the uh, the outside so the one of the courtyard and the one of the field in which after we have the the entrance. So we want to bring inside the project every single um, every single traces of the of the 
landscape. And after, of course, uh, we study the, the, the way in which we have to open this volume and uh, try to, to bring inside the house the, the different uh, elements. The, the south landscape, the north landscape, uh, the, um, the relation with the other houses and also with the, the main street and the relation with these uh, chairs that I showed you before. These uh, elements enter inside and uh, uh, habit the place. So also for that, uh, we want to have a, a place in which uh, the, the, um, the windows, the opening to the exteriors, uh, were the main uh, uh, protagonist of, uh, of the place. And uh, this is the, the result with some photos. Uh, this is from the north part, and this is from the south part, and after other images of this uh, project. Here, we, we re return to Return. We, we, we want to tell something about this competition that we, uh, we, we arrived, we classify as second, the second prize, we win the second prize. And this competition is about a crematorium in, uh, in Greece, in Patras. Um, this is the, the, the context of the, the competition, so we have to, uh, the request was to, to define, to, to design a new crematory in this indefinite peripheral area that we try to, to that is, that was characterized by this kind of architecture, um, in, in some way we could call architecture, and that seems, seems to be an industrial settlement uh, sprawl uh, in the outside part of Patrasso. And what we did is to, 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 to try to understand this place um, in this way, trying to, to, to connect the, some green uh, part of this uh, settlement, industrial settlement, uh, using the, the 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 area of the, the competition of the crematorium as a joining link between all this area and the, the river that characterizes Patrasso. This is the the, the 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 concept idea that work basically uh, starting from. The, the specific condition of the topography. So we 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 design a, a, a precise figure like that one, and that per, permit us uh, to to just in the way uh, it uh, it was put on the topography to to identify entrances and exits. This is one of the sacral sections. On the right, you can see a part of the, the crematorium and the, the, the functional part on the uh, down floor. Um, and on the other side, the entrance and this big uh, uh, ring, uh, square ring, that define the perimeter of the, the crematorium. The other idea that uh, on that we work on uh, comes from this incision engra uh, engraving that uh, show us the possibility to, to, to understand a crematorium as a two-floor uh, two floor structure. Uh, we, we, we understand the, the crematorium as a, a system of uh, production, but at the same time a system of a spiritual system where, where people could meet in different way um, the, the the body of uh, the person. The, so we 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 we, this, we we start to understand this process as a process uh, that have some point of. Uh, a meeting point 
on the two levels. There is some places that are characterized by this, by, by this uh, that we characterize with uh, these um, uh, angle figure figures, uh, and there is other one other spaces that we, that we characterize with the cube figures, and each space, uh, each one of these figures um, show uh, a, re a specific relation with uh, the, bo the dead body. So in the, in, the, in, the, in the scheme on the left, on this line, that after we will show, uh, we will see it also in the facades. Uh, on this, in this point, people could meet the, the, the coffin. So uh, in this one, is, this is, these are the chimneys of the, of the ovens, and in that one, there is the, the point when, where people could, uh, uh, could receive the urn of the, of the ashes. So uh, the crematorium, in this way, are, are, we, we thought to, to a crematorium as a, as a process of different uh, kind of meeting. Uh, so we organized with uh, the different figures and with, dif with different sections, the moment where the, the, these different condition of the body uh, could, uh, could, ex could, could find a, a specific, uh, um, I don't know, uh, condition. So in, in this part of the, se the session, you could see this relation with, the, with natural light coming from uh, above. It's like the, the chapel. These are the, in the lower floor, there is all the, the machines functional part of the crematorium. But um, always there is a, when there, there's a relation between what happened in the lower floor to the upper one, uh, appear this kind, appears this kind of figures uh, that char are characterized also in section and in plans too. So you can see in the these round figures, the entrance, this is the chapel, the spiritual space where people could find the coffin. This is the elliptical room is the, the two with the chimneys. This is the social part of the bars on, on, on a little hill, green hill. And at the end, uh, the, the pyramid that characterized the point where people could uh, receive the urn. After all the ring uh, and, the, and the topography uh, contains different possibility to, to, to live the, the, the urn. So you can, you can live on the, on the topography or you can live on, on the wall of the, the crematorium that is the, the, the limit of the, the building. And this is the, the lower floor that are the, 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 the functional one. Here are two, two views where you can see uh, since the entrance that is that one, you can see the, this line that is the, the line of suspended life, as we call during the development of this competition, that characterize the point where people meet uh, a physical presence of his deers. And the interior of the courtyard, that is uh, where you can see the different type of uh, the, that you can leave the, the, the urn. And this is the, the a view of the chapel where you can see the, the, the light also in the interior in this space and the, the light that comes to the coffin from above. Uh, here uh, it's another competition of a school. Um, we in these uh, last years, uh, years we, we work on on many of competition of schools in Italy. Um, this is in the center of Italy. 
as you can see here. Um, the, the city is called Bevania, and here the things that we was work that we were working on uh, are to the the um, the contrast between the two specific condition of the place. On the left, you can see the the countryside where we have where we had to design the school, and on the right the 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 center, the, the central square of the of the old town of Bevania. And so we work on this uh, condition, starting from another uh, contrast between uh, the, the the condition of being baby uh, on being teenager because we have to design we have to design three schools in the same area, uh, a kindergarten, uh, a primary school and a secondary school. So we had to work on different kind of people, different bodies, different way of, per, uh, to per, uh, different way of perception of space. So we try to work on this, starting from the, the view of each one of these kind of uh, person or body. And so these are the schemes of the three schools that are, as I told you, in the same area. And each um, facade or each uh, part are designed um, starting from this, the height of the students that are inside. So here you can see the, the, the a section of the three schools that we designed using uh, the, the, the natural um, uh, pendence. Pendence. pendence of the, the topography of the area. So the, these are the a, a particular uh, section of, in, of the three uh, schools. And in this one, the lower one, you see the, the public functions that we we need to design um, uh, for all the three schools. At the end, uh, these two sections, in some way, contains the two teams together. Because uh, starting from the body, we 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 work on uh, uh, starting from the body of the students, we work on the topography and on the specific specific condition of uh, the countryside and with the, the public public function of the schools or of all the three schools we work on the condition of the square and the, the a urban condition this is the the area of the of the school and as you see we we work on the the we try to design a square uh, defined by the, the major building or the public, the building with the public functions on this side and on the other one to keep the area in, in a condition quite similar to the country, the countryside where it was uh, designed. So these schemes try to explain this condition of the square uh, of the urban condition. This is the view of the of the square that we designed with the public uh, building of the school. The, and on the other side, the, the, the three schools with the, all the spaces uh, inside that uh, are to try, in, we, we, we design trying to explain this particular relation with the countryside. So here the two views. The two, uh, like the the tire, we, we work on this contrast con contrast to 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 reinforce these two themes that we 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 start uh, that was the starting of the concept idea. Okay, as Marco said before, we are working on a different uh, design competition, mainly in uh, schools. Because uh, 
there are two reasons because uh, Italy has a very old school uh, as a building itself, and uh, for our for our uh, experimentation somehow we are interested in uh, in this kind of competition, this kind of uh, themes because it's it's uh, somehow urban uh, question and also architectonic question and landscape means also. So um, in this competition in Corciano. Uh, we did a lot uh, of work in, uh, in terms of uh, searching the site. You know, as uh, in the previous competition, you see the, the difference between a, a countryside and uh, historical places. Uh, in these cases, we were uh, the competition where the site was located in the center of this uh, somehow anonymous uh, center. It's near Perugia, but is not. Uh, a, around this area there are not so specific places that we were considering during the competition so we were trying to uh, discover some new places and maybe the places are not uh, uh, located in the in the competition in the in the place so we will discover this uh, uh, this peculiar part and the school in this case was a secondary school i i, I remember if, if i'm remembering well so we try to build a kind of new uh, urban uh, place, a very urban place. We start with the urban space. We start with uh, the developing a kind of uh, um, square, a kind of uh, public uh, promenade, uh, uh, a public space itself, and then we build around the the, the school itself, the, the architectonic, the, the the architecture itself. So as you can see in this uh, in this ground floor uh, plan, we design a street that cut in two parts uh, the, the the building. So you can walk through the building. Sorry, yeah, you can actually walk through the building. So in this case, the the heritage somehow what we had we were working on this uh, something that we had in mind somehow that is not located uh, in in this place in this case it's a biblioteca nacional so it's the national library in argentina by Clorindo testa in buenos aires and so this is somehow what we had in mind uh, a building that you can uh, absolutely work through the building and experience a different kind of uh, spaces so uh, above uh, you uh, you can see the picture of the um, Biblioteca Nacional and uh, uh, down the, the section of the competition where you can see the uh, the possibility to uh, walk through the building and uh, of course the, um, the ceiling and the, the second floor is uh, the school itself. Um, not the same project but the same concept itself. It's uh, working with uh, a hybrid, you know, hybrid building somehow mixed the private and mixed the public, uh, which is, I, we think, uh, which is are this, uh, the main theme of the school for the future, the future school. So to uh, try to uh, transform the school as a private uh, space to somehow a civic center, a, sport, a space um, open to the urban uh, space. This is um, the section of the um, uh, Banco de Londres, means the London Bank, always uh, by Clorindo Testa, and uh, the, our section so in this uh, ideological uh, uh, dialogue. As you see, we are more interested in dialogue instead of monologue. <laughs> so the dialogue also with our living uh, uh, cities is important. In this case, uh, Venice comes uh, as a, another reference for us. You know, the, these uh, urban passages, um, the, uh, this urban passage that you can see in everywhere in, in, in Venice, the Sotto Portico, no, means under the, the porch. Uh, we recognize the same space that completely transformed in, in a contemporary vision in, in the case of this uh, competition. Uh, this is the ground floor, so you can see perfectly this. Uh, relation between the, the entrance of the school in this uh, in this part which uh, we had located also the auditorium perfectly uh, with this glass wall so it's a always in a connection between the, the open space because we consider the um, the auditorium also for the possibility to be open to the, the citizens 
Uh, so not dedicated uh, uh, on, uh, for the school, for the, the students. So in this case, we can use this space as a public uh, space. Here, of course, you can use these uh, stairs to go upside, uh, upstairs, where located, uh, are located the different uh, classrooms uh, um, put on uh, the perimeter, and uh, the main square inside, in the center of this uh, uh, space, is, is the public uh, uh, or the common space for the, the students, uh, where it's completely free without any um, uh, without any function, if we can uh, use this uh, word. Uh, this is uh, an image of this space. We decided to to create this abstract uh, uh, space so using this uh, uh, wooden structure, very expre uh, expressive somehow. And this is the section, it's a axonometric section, which is, uh, uh, you can see perfectly this relation between uh, the um, different spaces, you know, the, the courtyard outside, the public, the kind of garden, the, the, um, the, the little library, which is uh, dedicated for the students, but maybe also for the, the citizens, and a public terrace, where you can uh, also appreciate the, the public space and uh, the second floor, the, the space dedicated to the uh, classrooms. Of course, we, we think a lot about the structure, the, um, the relation between a structure and the, uh, the shape, the final outcome. So uh, the ground is uh, shaped as a very complex uh, uh, sequence of uh, different plants uh, like uh, stairs and uh, little uh, pieces uh, where you can stand and uh, you can uh, have a conversation somehow and then the, the structure in concrete uh, and the last uh, uh, part is a wooden structure based uh, uh, located on this uh, perimetrical uh, peripheral slab, wooden uh, beams uh, not slab. Okay, other, uh, this is the final uh, render, we don't use uh, renders uh, in uh, our competition, but it's, uh, it's a drawing that shows us as, uh, also this uh, other image that we have in mind using this as a, a little uh, unknown space uh, located on a bridge on uh, a river, so it's mixed place and, uh, and spaces. Okay, we uh, go ahead with another competition in Matelica. It's a night school. Matelica is located in the center of Italy. And we, we used to um, choose uh, this competition too because uh, we are interested in places now instead of the, uh, the, the theme in, in itself. So Matelica in this case was a little uh, uh, country, a little village. Uh, with something that we consider interesting no? to develop uh, our idea of our idea of, uh, uh, of a new building. In this case, the, the the place of the competition was located here somehow. Also, in this case, as in uh, the case of Bevania, outside of the historical center. No, uh, so this is was this was the historical part, and this, of course, the the extension. Uh, in Italy, it starts this kind of urbanization after the Second World War. So in these places, as you can see in this simple concept, uh, you can see there is not the same uh, urban settlement as in the, in the historical part. And we notice, for example, a possibility of um, uh, an uh, analogy with this building, which is a monastery that is, was located in the, on the border on the limit of the historical places that we somehow recognize as a building with a good value for uh, developing a new concept of uh, school. So the monastery was uh, basically a sequence of little courtyard and an enclosed space that enclosed a secret garden somehow that you have a, a very peaceful place for studying to have a very relaxed uh, place. Uh, in this case, also the material was so important. This is uh, the external wall of the convent of this monastery. So it was uh, absolutely interesting how they used this uh, different shades of um, uh, sequence of um, um, 
stones and bricks. So it's a very abstract uh, um, way of uh, building uh, and very expressive. Also, you can see uh, other urban benches on the side. So we were using this as a material for our uh, concept. Also, in the case of uh, the interior, to use the courtyard era as a very public space with a secret garden inside. So this is the concept, uh, the, the, not the concept, so the final render that somehow try to reinterpret this uh, condition, no? to have a wall and to use this wall in different uh, uh, ways. One, one could be the perception and one, as a, in our uh, idea of competition, to use uh, some uh, voice created in this wall as a public uh, uh, basis. So it's an urban, a new urban uh, tools okay um, so it uh, comes again you know, this uh, idea of uh, historical uh, porches historical courtyard inside our idea of uh, uh, for the school so the same rela uh, relation between uh, the classroom the, um, the corridors and the porch uh, towards the, uh, the garden okay then the ground floor as you can see the very big garden in which uh, every student can uh, can stay can play can have uh, can meet each other and the corridor which is um, conceived not as a closed corridor but is always open to the to the city and on the specifically on the corner which is always a problem for architectonical points of view is uh, broken and you can use these uh, huge uh, windows to, to see outside the, uh, the, the building. No? In every corner, again, there are some uh, small places, uh, common uh, places when you can uh, use it as a little uh, place to read as a kind of uh, bibliotheque uh, somehow. In the corner, of course, uh, another exception, which is the entrance, the main entrance, and uh, in uh, the the auditorium also again in this case uh, you uh, with the possibility to use this as a civic center as a public uh, space okay this is uh, another render we used to mix the also render with uh, some um, uh, section to do to see to understand better the, the in this case we, we want to do to see the, the sustainability of the building, so we uh, we try to uh, to represent this uh, condition of uh, sun, uh, the wind. So we design this little uh, uh, this uh, classroom as uh, an open, a double open uh, uh, space, uh, which permits, of course, uh, a double relation uh, in terms of uh, healthy places. And this is the representation. Uh, of the public, uh, the, the inner garden uh, inside of the school. Okay, and the third uh, uh, competition is by in Ariano Urpino, always in the center of Italy. I don't know why, but we choose a lot of uh, in schools in the center of Italy, maybe because of the places again. You know? We are maybe interesting in this uh, relation of uh, our new building and the existing uh, part. This was a, a different uh, situation, a very complex uh, topography. We are located in a hill, on the top of a hill, where is located this uh, Ariano Urbino um, old village in, in Italy. So in this case, we would like to, uh, the location of the, the site, the site of the competition was uh, actually in the center of this uh, um, little village, so it was a, a very urban uh, place, <coughs> as you can see, and uh, uh, the occasion here was to transform the idea of a uh, closed uh, um, existing building. I, I forgot to mention that uh, in this area there, there was uh, an old hotel, that means uh, Hotel Giorgione, which was uh, a very huge building located there, now abandoned, so the idea was to uh, demolished the, the building and to uh, to build a new uh, school. So 
the building was absolutely huge, out of scale somehow. So we tried to uh, understand how to um, to build something that is so big in terms of uh, volume, and to adapt it to the uh, little small uh, um, urban texture of the, the existing uh, uh, village. So in, as you can see, we always work with the ground floor as a very complex. Uh, um, movement of topography of different plants uh, and different uh, spaces that for us are not uh, uh, not complication but is a, a, a good way to to work on the on, uh, on, on the building and to uh, build and enrich the, the the public space in this case so for example the all uh, the school basically is that the classrooms are located in a um, suspended volume, which is uh, based on this uh, pillar and uh, these uh, staircases. And the, this basement, huge basement, where we located some uh, uh, other functions as laboratories or uh, bar and other. Uh, okay, this is the section uh, plans of the. The, the basement, which we located, the, for example, the, the gymnasium and the, the canteen, uh, the laboratory. So in this basement, we conceived, uh, we consider this basement as a public space, so possibility to open it to the to the citizens <coughs> of the, the the village. In this case, uh, the um, this drawing, the peculiar way. And we conceived the structural elements and the court, the, the wall that uh, finished the, the building. So we we started uh, using this wall as a structural element. Um, also, in this case, we had in mind this uh, incredible building by uh, Nervi, located in Trento. Uh, uh, Libera, sorry, <laughs> what a mistake! But in uh, in Trento, it's the Palazzo della Ragione, uh, and uh, in this case, he suspended the the building on using this wall as a structural element in which uh, he uh, used to take some uh, voice and to com to compose this incredible structure. So we had this in mind basically. And we try to <coughs> reproduce this uh, in uh, in our uh, in our building, and to work with this main structural wall as um, also a, a barrier between the public uh, corridor and uh, the internal inner classroom, as a um, also a possibility to have new spaces. As you can see, we created uh, some little scenes. Um, in, uh, in the corridor or in the in the classroom, uh, depending of uh, what we would like to to express. The public, uh, the, public the, the corridor. We conceive this corridor not as a distribution place, but also as a um, kind of diffused uh, big library used for uh, for the students all. Uh, okay, the the idea to come back to the, the main idea is to conceive this. Uh, as a platform uh, where you can see and appreciate the landscape, which is uh, uh, in this privileged view. The section, uh, of course, put uh, the section. We, we we like the section as a as a, a drawing uh, able to synthesize a lot of questions. No? in this case, uh, the relation between this uh, street. And the upper level, where we look, where is basically located a, a new square. No, so this is a, the the great uh, uh, terraces that it's able to uh, avoid the, these uh, existing roofs and to uh, see the, the landscape. And these intermediate uh, levels that build this uh, urban uh, space. In this section, of course, you can uh, see also the, the treatment of the facade. We conceive this uh, as a metal structure uh, with some integrated uh, uh, solar system panels, photovoltaic, uh, and so on. So to uh, try to integrate this uh, not only as a secondary device, but as a an um, uh, important part of the, uh, the facade of the building. Okay, also in this case, you can see 
the, the different composition of the basement and the different composition of the facade uh, dedicated to the different uh, classroom. On the corner, also in this case, uh, we decided to open it as a, a terrace that uh, can, uh, where you can see the, the tower bell of the, the, the little village. And it comes again, this uh, uh, memories no, of, other, of uh, other places, as in this case for Nina Bobardi, uh, places that uh, is recognizable somehow in this uh, composition of, uh, for the competition. Okay. And this is the last uh, project uh, about school that uh, we are uh, showing you. This is uh, the project for a secondary school in Pescina, uh, near L'Aquila, another time in the, in the center part of, uh, of Italy. Uh, a competition that we, we do in the same year uh, of Corciano, for example, and uh, in which we won. And uh, now we are working on uh, the next stages, next uh, phases of the, of the project. We, we, um, uh, finished the definitive project and we are waiting for some authorization in order to go on with the execu execu executive part of the project. Um, the city, the village of, uh, of Pescina, as I told you, is near uh, L'Aquila in the center of Italy and the, the landscape and the context situation here is quite uh, uh, the negative, quite the opposite of Ariano Irpino, because in this case we are inside uh, a valley, uh, so it's not on the top of a mountain with uh, the, the city uh, uh, building in the two sides of the top, but the, the city in this case is building itself in the two sides of a, a, the, the two different sides of a valley uh, that uh, is uh, habitated by the river, the Jovenko river, that is crossing the city in that way. Here on the top we have the, the main square of the, of the city, uh, and in the center of the photo you can see uh, already, uh, you can recognize uh, the structure of uh, uh, the, uh, the existing schools that are here with some uh, sports furniture, furniture in this uh, in this place and uh, in the other part of the of the Jovenko river uh, there is this uh, green uh, uh, quite abandoned area in which there are some uh, uh, some uh, uh, cultivated uh, fields uh, but they are cultivated quite uh, illegally so it is a place uh, of the of the municipality that can be also a place uh, in which uh, work for the project. Uh, we started this uh, this project uh, with the idea of uh, uh, understand the the place, understand the city of uh, of uh, Pescina, but also his relation with the surrounding landscape. So for this reason, we. Uh, starting to analyze the border of uh, of Pescina in relation with the, the course of the river uh, Jovenko and uh, analyzing that uh, and seeing that uh, uh, along uh, the river there are different uh, public spaces that uh, are uh, built and uh, have some history, historical and cultural function and also representative function like the place of the uh, municipality and the main church and, uh, and also the place of the schools can be another place, another uh, node, another center of this relation from the true part of the city. But if we follow the river, we arrive in this place that now, as we see in the previous photo, is like a huge uh, uh, flat uh, field uh, cultivated, but in the in the last century it was a lake. It was a lake with uh, an only uh, emissary, that is the Jovenko, that is our river, and here we have uh, Pescina. And uh, this uh, this uh, lake and this uh, and this uh, um, 
field now uh, have a really important history about how people and how community, communities in the history live at this place. Imagine that uh, the person here passed through uh, an economy uh, based on fishing and, and uh, uh, cohabitating with a, a lake that had, had this initially and no uh, emissary. Uh, with uh, um, a place in which now they can cultivate it and export the the, the product. Uh, they in the past they do a lot of different projects to uh, uh, dry and uh, the, the river. So we arrive uh, at the beginning of the last century in this in the actual uh, situation. Uh, another important thing to 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 have in mind uh, in Pecina is that uh, the city had this uh, uh, strong relation with the river. The city was built uh, and after at, at the beginning of uh, the last century in uh, 1915, uh, the, it was a real strong earthquake that uh, destroyed all the, the, the old city center and after they had to rebuild uh, uh, the actual uh, the actual city and uh, in that years they uh, built uh, in in this place uh, the main square of the city here there is the the, the municipality and uh, here is the place in which people meet uh, themselves uh, and in which they do all the social and uh, political and cultural events more or less but this is also a, a, a Use problem because in this place um, there is the main street that is passing through that connecting other places. So for uh, half part of the of the surface, it is like a vehicle uh, vehicular place and not a pedestrian place. Imagine that in this case here we are also the only uh, gas uh, distribution of uh, for cars in in the place, for example. And uh, down here, the, the river Zovenko is uh, passing through. So they had to, they closed into huge tubes the, the river in that uh, in that uh, part of the of the city. Otherwise, here in the place in which we have the, the actual school, uh, we recognize here the the the, the, the river and the, the, the two sides that uh, I. I told you before, in this part uh, we see the, the green area and here we have uh, the actual school. In, uh, in the moment in which we designed the competition, this, is, this was the situation, but now here in this place in which we have some uh, uh, playground here for uh, the children, we have some containers in which uh, the students had to take uh, lectures because uh, the two structure uh, main structure of the school uh, was uh, declared uh, un, uh, unusable for static problems. So unsure. Uh, it's unsure, and they had to move here in this place. Maybe in some photos we can show you. Uh, and uh, we can also recognize uh, the the difference of level in which the city is uh, uh, is built. There are building up and building up, so we wanted to to design a project that somehow connect the two sides of the river and uh, become a new terrace, a new public terrace uh, for uh, for the city. So this is the the, the probably the main uh, the main drawing uh, and the main concept of uh, our work. Uh, there is uh, a, a school, the, the white part for us is all the part of the school, that uh, respects all the existing uh, buildings and even all the, um, the sports uh, furniture that we have here. We try to don't uh, lose uh, the, um, the idea of having a park and having a green space in the other side of the river but uh, uh, focusing in connecting the two sides in uh, a pedestrian and uh, bicycle uh, way and uh, having uh, uh, on the level of the roof of the school this uh, huge surface uh, that uh, people uh, that the city could uh, 
could uh, use uh, for all the, the manifestations that uh, they want to do uh, in order to have a safety place uh, unless the better than the, the, the actual play, uh, square that they have. In the right part here, there are uh, located all the classrooms, and in the left part here, there is uh, the um, uh, auditorium. Those are the, the, the lines of connection that, uh, that in which we work, uh, and uh, all the different levels that we want to uh, use in this place. So there is the river with uh, this, uh, the, the, the green part of the project, this is the, the main, uh, uh, the new uh, surface, the new path of the, for, the, um, for the city. This is, uh, of course, the, the, the context in which we recognize the river and the actual building. And uh, those are the uh, architectural elements like the wall, fencing uh, from the river, and uh, the, the blocks of the room and the block of the, the um, auditorium and also the other green area on the roof. Uh, those are the two uh, different uh, plan of the building. This is on the left side we have the, the plan for the competition and on the right side we have the plan that we add to redraw for the, the definitive project because we lose because uh, for uh, many, many problems, one of that was that we lose this, uh, this uh, lotto, this area, that uh, it was integrated in the competition, but after uh, they don't allow us to, uh, to use. And also for uh, the problem of the exundation of this river that normally doesn't have, but uh, in those here, from the the winning of the competition and the the moment, <laughs> they, uh, it uh, fell uh, fell out. So we had to to re to do uh, other studies of hydrological and geological uh, uh, security, and we had to, to take some uh, measure of the facts uh, from it. So the, the the there is a huge difference somehow, but uh, the the main idea is the same because there is the idea of having. Uh, on the left side, this uh, the area of the auditorium. On the right side, the area of the of the classrooms. The classrooms are uh, joined uh, themselves in group of three. There are three, three and three, like here, three, three and three, with the possibility to open all the the um, the walls, the inner walls, in order to have a, a huge uh, room. And all the three, uh, all the all the blocks of the the, the classroom have an open uh, patio in which uh, they can also take uh, outdoor lessons. Uh, the idea of a, a connection, in which uh, starting from here we have all the, the installation uh, of the of the building and uh, try to keep uh, more uh, free as is possible the, the, mm, the part of the facing through the, through the mm, Jovenko. And uh, on the rooftop, uh, the strategy is to connect uh, this area with this, this other area, so we can, uh, uh, thanks to some stairs or some slope, we can uh, uh, have a place on the roof here and after we can cross the Jovenko and uh, uh, through the volume of the auditorium we can uh, go down to the level of the other street or go down to the level of the of the schools. Uh, this is uh, the model that represents uh, those uh, connections and uh, some uh, renders that uh, works for explain the idea to the municipality. From one side, the, the auditorium place in which we have this ramp that is located here that connects uh, the upper part, but also allow to the actual uh, city um, bicycle lane to, to go in through. And uh, in, the other, in the other place from here, we see the entrance of the school 
in this place and all the park uh, in this uh, near the, the German corridor. Some section in which uh, is uh, understandable this idea of uh, connection. We divided the project in uh, three different steps. Now is the, the school project after they will uh, build the auditorium and after at the end of the, the, the bridge in order to connect. And uh, this is the last uh, project that we want to show you. That is, I think, the cheapest project that we build at the moment because <laughs> it was really, really cheap. It uh, started from a little competition in which we participated also with another architect, Elisa Buzegan, and uh, we were selected uh, to um, for this project in order to uh, make more accessible some uh, parks uh, in the uh, Valca Monica Valley. And so we work uh, all together uh, with the, um, the authorities of the valley, so the municipalities, uh, the, the, um, the, I, <laughs> the municipality, the proprietary uh, of the, the different the, the different uh, parks, so the authorities of the parks, and uh, with some different local uh, association uh, working uh, with people uh, with uh, disabilities in order to enter better in the thematic of the accessibility. So we started from an idea that uh, we want to uh, uh, reflect about uh, this idea of accessibility and also with the idea of how a body works, how our body works, and in order to break uh, uh, all the, the, these differences between uh, abilities or, or disabilities, but working with the sensation, how people feel a place, how people feel uh, the landscape, how people feel uh, uh, the architecture, the history, and so on. Uh, those are the historiated stones uh, uh, that uh, there are a lot of them in, in the Valca Monica Valley. That is uh, the first uh, UNESCO heritage site in Italy before the Rome, before the Venice. This is the first uh, uh, UNESCO site here in, in Italy. And uh, there are a lot of different parks uh, uh, managed by different authorities. We work. Uh, uh, in this uh, one, uh, Riserva Naturale delle Incisioni Rupestri di Ceto Cimbergo e Paspardo uh, is one of them. And inside all uh, the area, we work uh, in uh, a little place that is uh, Dos Sotolaiolo Place, uh, that is uh, uh, near a, 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 a provincial street. Uh, inside uh, on the top of uh, a little hill and in which there is a, a, a wood place uh, somehow. Uh, we recognize, uh, yeah, this is the plan of uh, the actual state, we recognize the street, there is already a park in which we can arrive and from here is starting a little path uh, going till this area, that is the area in which we have the the huge uh, historiated stones, and after from here we can go to other rocks uh, in which there are located other historiated uh, stones. Uh, so our idea was, uh, uh, and this is the section from uh, the, the street to the, the, the place in which there are the stones, so it's not a, a huge uh, difference of, uh, of uh, levels. We're going here in order to understand better the place. We, we see that uh, uh, we are like a terrace uh, facing through the valley in which the, the um, sensation of all the wood uh, life uh, uh, is uh, are active here. You can uh, actually hear the birds uh, singing. You can uh, hear and smell the different uh, um, Leaves. the leaves and uh, and the other other elements inside this place 
Here you can see the car, so here is the parking, and more or less here is the same place in which we took the photo, and here there is the main rock. We can recognize this uh, path and also this little element that is a little cordolo, I don't know, uh, is a concrete uh, little uh, wall here that uh, they built some years ago in order to help uh, blind people to go up, but is uh, in order to use like uh, helping themselves with the with the bastone, um, the uh, in order to help themselves uh, walking through here. But it's not helpful because when we go here with the the volunteers of Il Cardo, this association that uh, I tell you before, we we experimented the how they can feel the place uh, and working inside a wooden place uh, blind is really difficult. Uh, also, if you have some instruments, so. We wanna uh, we we study the different uh, elements inside this place, uh, focusing in which element we can uh, improve something. After uh, uh, <laughs> a brainstorm with us, with uh, Elisa, with uh, the association, we think that uh, the best thing is having an element like uh, a normal uh, element that is in inside the public spaces uh, that help uh, every people to come from the, par the, the, the parking site to the, to the stone. But uh, trying also to make that this element uh, will be not something that uh, is just for safety, but also is something that uh, uh, tell us uh, an history, tell us something. So we can recognize also a, a strange element at the end of this uh, this path, and this element. The, the idea is that when you starting the the, the um, you starting walking from the entrance, uh, something is activated and reproducing a um, sound like this one that I'm uh, making to you. That is uh, an element. Uh, Putting in uh, in the last part of the of the path that is near the first rock is an element that is like a, a well bell. a bell that have an uh, analogic element inside that is uh, trying to reproduce this sound that is the sound of the ancestral person that are drawing the stones so making this incision on the rocks. And uh, you can hear this sound uh, um, uh, step by step in uh, when you are approximating to the to the rock. So uh, people that can look uh, uh, can hear this sound, uh, a sound that is uh, coming uh, uh, nearest, and uh, uh, they are um, focusing on the rock. So. Somehow they they signal you the presence of the rock, but also remind you of another landscape, the ancestral landscape of people who are working there making these uh, these uh, drawings. And uh, we wanna uh, we wanna use uh, um, analogic element and not uh, uh, some digital sound, because the analogic element create also vibration in the in the structure. So helping yourself uh, hanging in this uh, with the hands to this structure, you can also feel the sound uh, by your touch, by your uh, hands somehow. So the project was mainly that uh, this uh, this element that is connecting the two parts and arrive to the to the the first rock. Uh, after we work. Uh, in order to make this idea that for us was really impressive, but uh, make this, uh, this idea concrete and also uh, cheapest, because we had like about uh, uh, 10,000 euros or something like that for all the works with the archaeologists, with the with the uh, all the artisans, with the electricists. So it was quite uh, complicated, and. Uh, uh, we uh, use uh, the concrete element that we show, like uh, 
the element in which we hang our structure and from here we built a, a, a metallic structure in which pass in which all the the electronic devices pass through and uh, it uh, is the, the wide of a concrete element put inside and also a, another metallic element uh, that you can hang because in the linear part you can we can have these concrete uh, elements that are uh, uh, finishing uh, uh, our structure but uh, here in which we have all the curves, we work with the, the metallic part for two reasons. The constructive one is uh, cheapest to do with metal, uh, this, this part, and also helping uh, another time people to understand that something is going on. So if you can understand that you are change the surface uh, that are uh, that are uh, helping you to arrive in a place, you can understand that something is going on. Uh, this is the, the first uh, drawing of the, the bell, but this is at the end of the actual bell that we, we construct. And uh, for the last part uh, of this project, in which from here it come, it come out the sound, and uh, this is the abacus of all the the concrete elements that are the tiles that are uh, covering our path and uh, those with uh, some letters are the the tiles that uh, the the people of the Icardo drawing for us with some workshop so uh, we want to also them and make part of the project and uh, we have some tiles that are completely uh, naked and uh, clear and other ones that are uh, the our uh, historiated uh, stones so if uh, some tourists or some people come here can see our the sign of the contemporary and uh, the signs of the ancestral uh, ancestral people of the uh, this place um, yes, we, we, we want this to. This is the ending part, so we enjoy. We want to close, uh, record to you to our mind the, the starting point. The, um, to understand architecture as or, or the activity, uh, to understand the activity of design as a, as a support, as a, as a device, as something that permits to, to, to perceive space um, in, in a different way. This is the, 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 the podium, the, the Piero Manzoni uh, magic base that permit to people to become living art. But in the same year, he, 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 he produced also this, uh, this piece uh, that uh, is called uh, Socle du Monde that is the, the pedestal of the earth. Uh, and just to, to just put in the, 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 the text in, in this way, um, he designed, he, 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 he made, pos made, made possible that the earth, um, to perceive the earth, the existing, the, 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 the um, <coughs> The earth that, that where we live to the perceive planet, the planet, the planet, to to perceive as a work of art. Uh, really, he he didn't design something so particular, but uh, the way in uh, the way uh, he designed this piece is uh, useful as a device, as a pedestal, as a support to perceive what we have uh, just outside, uh, just in front of us, as a, as a work of art. So the idea for us, to, to when, when we um, start to design a, a project, an architecture, a place, uh, a public space, uh, always we try to do this, to, to produce a, a little device that uh, permit to the existing to appear as a as a work of art, something like that.
Thank you. It's, uh, I hope you are awake after <laughs> two hours or no, one hour and a half. No. <laughs> uh, for our you. English, thank we are not used to speaking English uh, too much, too much uh, so. <laughs> no, no. The presentation was uh, fantastic, really. Don't worry about the time. Um, and uh, I didn't, I didn't, mean, well, uh, we used to live uh, for uh, someone who is interested in doing questions to you. Uh, just uh, uh, for uh, if you have uh, uh, more time, uh, because um, I didn't mention. Well, I, the thing is, I ask for uh, to everybody if somebody wants to to do some questions uh, before uh, say. Uh, goodbye to you. Uh, I didn't mention uh, that um, the three of, of you are uh, doctors in architecture, are PhD, and you are part of the tutors teams, uh, you have tutors teams, and uh, I know uh, I noticed that um, you have a very good skill to pick images uh, about uh, the, the topics that you pick. Uh, this is very interesting. Uh, also the project, the projects and we are now working on this uh, um, uh, picking topics and picking uh, images uh, from for for each work. So uh, this uh, last one and uh, that was also the first one is really fantastic. And, and uh, well, uh, okay, there is one one that is important to 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 hear. Okay, you can you can you can uh, uh, put on your mic and ask whatever you you want yes Hello. good morning good afternoon sorry <laughs> um the, i think the presentation was very interesting first thank you um i have a question most related to the part of the schools um my question is if this school have been built already and how do you um usually i don't know if you do it but usually involve the community and how hard the rea the reaction of the inhabitants to your interventions thank you okay in, uh, thank you for your question in this moment we are working on uh, only on piscina schools so the last one that massimo showed uh, showed before we are working on the last part, on the last phase of the competition. So actually, they are not built at all. Only the last one could be if uh, God wants <laughs> to build, has, will be built. The other one are see, uh, only competition. So we, we work on competition that uh, mostly we lost competition as uh, a lot of architects do. I mean, uh, it's always a uh, to try to express a uh, way to experiment some new ideas and uh, to work on it. Uh, but in this moment, only the Peshina. For uh, about the, the community, 
actually there are not so many possibilities uh, to work uh, with the uh, the communities because you have to imagine that uh, uh, the different phase of a project normally um, are quite uh, restricted and quite difficult also to to have all the engineering and also the other um, the other professionals uh, working on uh, the same project so the community basically is something that uh, for example the municipality has to try to involve the, in the in the in the process like to choosing the place uh, uh, and so on but for example we are working on in Venice and the, the project is in Pescina in the center of Italy this is uh, not so easy for us to go there and uh, start uh, working with the with the people actually we did it we did something we we went there two, uh, three or four times and we start also asking to the neighborhood uh, which are the, pro the problems of the places, uh, asking with the, also the help of the municipality itself, they know a lot of the, of the, uh, the community, mm, but our way of, uh, yeah, our way of uh, work, uh, we, in this case of the, the, the schools are not using the uh, the, the community. In the case of the Valca Monica, of course, it's uh, mm, a lot. Uh, the, the, the community involved was uh, absolutely uh, necessary to work uh, uh, to this project. So, and also there is a, a problem because uh, when you start a project for a competition, for example, all the schools project are project that we do. First of all, with a competition, and uh, just only one of ten, maybe, uh, is uh, going on. Uh, you started a project, and uh, you you can't uh, work uh, with the, with the community. Otherwise, you have to start this uh, this process before somehow. But normally, you have close closest time of the competition. After that, here in Italy, start a huge moment of uh, uh, mm, for the municipality to assign to you the project because uh, from when we we finished the competition till the moment in which we started the project uh, they passed like uh, three or four years more or less in which we were talking with the municipality but uh, without any rule without any possibility to do anything after that, after four years, we are waiting for it. We have to finish the project in two months. So you don't have the time to do all the drawings, uh, all the interviews, and you have already a project there. Uh, we, we do a little uh, presentation uh, just uh, some months after the, the, the result. We do a presentation here in, uh, there in uh, Pescina. Uh, with the municipality, with all the community, but uh, not just the, uh, our project, also the second, the third, and other mentioned natives. They present the project, and we talk with the um, the, the, the school director. The school director says to us, for me, it's not important which project will be built. We need a project. Need a so school. sometimes you you are facing with people that uh, don't care about the the project itself. Uh, they care about do the project. The, mm, the politicians that need the, the building built. It's not important if it's an architecture, if it is a, a other things. They need to to go to the paper and say, "I finished the the school and I I, I, I cut line. the line and it's open today." So it's difficult in this sense. Uh, starting a project with the the particip participation of the communities is really important, but maybe uh, you can in Italy at the moment you can do that in with other instruments not the competition and maybe in other projects. The smallest one that uh, in which the, the municipalities have to, to put uh, less money, for example, and uh, maybe starting from you. You have an idea, you go to the municipality and other association, you say, uh, why don't we don't do that here? And you start something with the community. This is 
more uh, uh, workable than uh, a project of uh, a huge building. For uh, our experience. Thanks. Thank you for the answer. And my second question was about the competition, how they work. So thank you for the answer. All right, uh, there is also Jonathan that wants to ask you. Jonathan, are you there? Yes, uh, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, we can sorry, my, we, we can hear you, my camera is, I don't know, it's having some problems. We don't see you. Yes, my camera is having problems, I don't know. Well, but can you see? Hear, you can ask a question. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, perfect. Can you see me now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, my question is, um, how do you try to uh, balance the different inspirations or influences? in one project like one of the projects you 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 showed of the school design yeah well, there was inspiration from the venetian strata and then you have you also have on the same project which is not in which is not in venice you also have influence from the let's say the the old town or the countryside. So how do you try to balance this different ins inspiration in, in one project? Yes, uh, you have to imagine that this is something that is hidden in our mind somehow, because we had three different uh, uh, experiences. Uh, um, I work in Portugal, for example, Marco worked a lot in, uh, in Paraguay, Massimo in Argentina and other places. So. These are uh, places and images that uh, we had in mind somehow, but it's not uh, really happening when we are working. It's something that we uh, recognize mainly after the competition. We said, ah, this is uh, something that uh, it uh, comes from there. No, it comes from this building. It's like the same or during the process of uh, the, con the working. Uh, uh, flow. So we recognize, for example, or some similarities with, uh, I don't know, some buildings. And uh, so, okay, maybe we can use this uh, as a structure, but we are not deciding before the competition uh, as a priori model. So this is. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. I, I think I like you try to get similarities as you start. Yes, during the, the process, but we don't decide, uh, okay, yeah. this is uh, the Agora, I don't know. Yeah. The jury. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Thank you. No, the, the, you have to think that the process of the design in our studio is quite confu confused <laughs> because we are three minds. Three people, yeah. also more our collaborators, friends that work with us. So normally uh, we, we discuss half an hour and after someone uh, stress the concept. But during this work, sometimes we are not here together. So the, the concept go through thanks to uh, like wind, that each one of us are are, are producing to, to 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 permit to the design to go to go over. So it's yeah. quite not so it's not a so controlled process. And for sure, uh, always we try to to really what we are interested in 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 uh, design spaces that we feel good as the places where we live in. Mm. In our personal life, so yeah. we are here in Venice, but we we lived in Asunción, we lived in Lisboa, we lived in Barcelona, we lived uh, every every guys or colleagues that work with us live in, have some 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 
some he we always feel some place some particular place and this is our the 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 the, the, the guide of the process yeah yeah interesting we never work on the forms we always the, the form is a result of this process mm. yeah yeah okay thank you so much all right and if there is no more questions i don't see yellow hands so uh, just the last from me uh, you know i i i i didn't find this uh, written or i didn't read in a book uh, someone uh, had commented me uh, a phrase of Alvar Alto, you know, uh, that you are probably the dream team, the perfect hero. I, I know, I, I know what you mean. Yes, yes. He said that one uh, must be three the the dream team in architecture you know one to work in the studio the other one have to work in the in the workplace uh, like a builder and the third one have to play golf so, <laughs> So tell me, who <laughs> plays golf, who works in the studio, and who are the builder? We are the players. The other one is on the other side. <laughs> in the other. <laughs> Maybe they, they are playing golf now. <laughs> OK. Well, my friends, Thank you very much to join with us. We have more uh, work to do and we have just uh, less than one hour. So I have to say goodbye to you. And thank you very much. Uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Javier. Thank you, Javier. Okay, I think uh, Joaquin is also, I don't know where he is, but uh, he is also with the... Now, uh, now send the invoice. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello. I, went, I want to introduce you, Joaquin. Nice to meet you. Okay, okay, bye-bye. Bye, thanks. Bye -bye. Thank, Thank you. you. See you. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Very much. All right. Okay. Uh, we have uh, 45 minutes. Let's to to see a one a one presentation. Quaco, I don't know if you if the uh, we have to move to the other channel. So, oh really? Yes. We can. Yes. We, okay, we can do it in here. No, because of the recording. We are recording this, and if we do it here, it will be a very long. Recording. Okay, and 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 Alessio is uh, is it, waiting. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Let's let's go uh, to the other channel and and let's see the last work uh, to finish the the lesson. Okay. Okay. To finish the class. All right. Bye.